guys, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we are going to be making homemade doggy popsicles. Now this is a different recipe and this is the first time I'm making it, but we're kind of just throwing a bunch of stuff together. The last recipe that I did for the dogs, which I don't have a video about, but next time I make them, I'll be sure to film it. It was basically more of a cream base. So I used Greek yogurt for that. Um, but I feel like when it's hot out, like really hot out like it is today, like 90 degrees, they need something that's a little bit more of a water based, something that's more refreshing. So that's what we're gonna do today. So the ingredients that we will be using are fresh cut watermelon, blueberries, strawberries, and I'm gonna incorporate a banana because we need to use her. So get your ingredients and let's get started. So first I am going to, I, like I said, I'm just going off the top of my head for this. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to rinse and cut mm, like four strawberries and so let's do that. The dogs pretty much love anything I give them. So I think that they will really enjoy this recipe. I am a little upset though, because I went to four different places to try and get some kind of popsicle mold. Cause I thought that would work, that would work the best. But all I have are just little mini solo cups. The ones that are like shot glasses. That's what I used for the last, for, for the other popsicles, and they worked actually pretty great. But the only thing is, um, for like the stick part to be able to hold it, to like give it to them, um, I used a doggy treat. And because it was like a cream base, they, you know, they sat in the, in that mixture really well. Um, so I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna use for this. I feel like if I use a doggy treat, it will just get mushy before it freezes and then it might not even work. But I'm gonna try it out with a couple of them. Um, and then the other ones, I'll just have to put, take them out and just put them in a doggy bowl for the dogs. But yeah, so I'm really excited to do this for the dogs because like I said, I think they'll love it. So I chopped up my strawberries. They don't have to be that fine um, because I am going to be using um, an immersion, an immersion blender to kind of just blend everything up. So now I'm going to take my blueberries and give them a good rinse. What's fun about the dogs is like, all their recipes are so easy and quick to make. So this will be done in no time. So, um, I don't know how many blueberries to use. We'll start with that many blueberries. Like equal part strawberries, equal part blueberries. And then we're just gonna add some watermelon. I cut this up yesterday and it is so delicious. Um, the watermelon I want to be like the base of the mixture. So I am going to add a good bit of watermelon to this. Cause we need to eat it up anyway cause I just got another one today. So it'll be okay. So let's see. About the same amount of watermelon as you did blueberries and strawberries. And then I'm just gonna use half of this banana and then I'm just gonna feed the dogs the other half. Well, maybe, that part's pretty brown. So I'm gonna put in half of the banana. About that much. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. The watermelon will um, add a lot of liquid to it, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of cold water just so it has some kind of liquid to start off. Uh, let's see. Just a little bit. Can you see where the line is of the water? I don't know if you can see. Just a little bit. Okay, so like I said, I've never done this before with the Immersion Blender or this recipe at all. So hopefully, fingers crossed that it will work out okay. I apologize, you're gonna hear the dogs bark, um, but it's okay. So I'm gonna take my Immersion Blender. I'm just gonna start off on a low setting. I stick it right down on that.
Spanish. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. That hurts. If you know, you know. I probably honestly did not have to add any water. So if you are just watching this and not following along, I don't think you'll need to add water. Cause like I said, the watermelon is pretty watery itself. I do see a few seeds that are like floating at the top. I am gonna take those out from the watermelon. Uh, I'm sure they would be okay. But I just wanna, I'm just gonna take them out for safe measures. But okay, so here is our soupy mixture we got going on. And now we are just going to scoop it, pour it into the little cups. And these are the cups that I was talking about uh, for the treat. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take a soup ladle and we're just gonna start pouring it into the cups. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to put a dog treat in these. But like I said, I don't want to risk them just getting mushy and then it just being pointless. So, but that's fine. You can just stick these either on a paper towel if you want. If you have an extra food bowl that you can just keep outside or wherever you feed them, um, you can just put it in there. That's no problem. I mean, if you do, I have seen this like on Pinterest. If you have those like rubber silicone doggy bones, they're like super, they're probably like this big. Um, I have seen people use those as like sticks. I wouldn't really recommend using like a wooden stick. I would definitely use something that isn't going to be harmful because if they accidentally, you know, bite down on the popsicle and end up biting through the wooden stick, um, not gonna be good so don't recommend doing that but yeah if you have like a rubber toy use that i'm sure that will work great i'm really excited to give these to the dogs i know that they will really enjoy them and it'll be nice a refreshing treat for them and also too like you don't want to give these are like a treat so it's something that you you know give to your dog when they're outside playing on a hot day Give it to them as a refreshing, refreshing treat. So, don't think these will be ready to eat by today. Well, they might be in a few hours, but hopefully they won't take that long to freeze. All right, last one here, I think. All right. And I just have a little bit, tiny bit of mixture left. I can't really that much into them I filled them pretty full so yeah okay so with that amount of ingredients that we used I made 10 popsicles and I feel like that's pretty pretty good that'll last us a little bit so I'll be right back I need to get my tin tray all right so I got my tin tray We're just gonna transfer these over to the tray. And find a place to store them in the freezer. All right, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope your dogs enjoy if you do decide to make this at home. And if you wanna see me make some more dog recipes, then stay tuned. Bye.